Hey Vapors, Captain Cosmo Bagel is back with uh, another test. G Plat Elite 26. And this is artistic wire, stainless steel. I found it as beadalon, but it came as artistic wire on this nice little spool. I'll try and put details in the comments, but basically it's stainless steel 304 non manganin wire. Uh, untreated, I think it's annealed. Um, and let's just uh, pull out uh, six inches of each and see what we get. Once again, using the Odin RDA. This is the G Plat. Let's see if I can get about six inches of that off. Let's see here. Okay. There we go. That's six inches. Set that aside right there, and then we'll go for six inches of this artistic wire, which, as I said, is just stainless steel. Comes on this neat spool. It's uh, 30 yards of it for eight dollars. Uh, has this little locking ring that you can twist and turn around to get the wire you want off. I'm just going to take it off. There we go but at least you don't have to worry about your wire flying away. Okay, six inches is right there. Okay, so two pieces, they should be right about the same length. So first, let's trap the G-plat. Nice thing is, is None of these wires are magnetic. Uh, let's see, this is the G-plat, just as flexible as before. Not too springy. Okay, trapped and made a little loop. Let's turn it on. 0 0.84, all right, let's turn that off. Take this off. That was the G-plat right there and then let's see how the artistic stainless steel 304 wire performs just as flexible feels almost the same if not identical hard to say all thumbs again is a bit long. Let's try and get as scientific as we can. Cat, stay away. All right, what do we have here? 0.082. Now, I've got an internal resistance of about 0.1 in here. So we're looking at, you know, somewhere real close, but these two seem to have the same resistance. Same resistance. So, I thought as a fun test, I pre-wrapped. This one is the Beetalon stainless steel wire. Ooh, I hope I didn't mess up that G-plat one. Ah, it's fine. We'll just put these on this, uh, see what happens if we run a mixed coil here. One side G-plat, one side stainless steel artistic wire. Let's see. This is the artistic wire. Sorry if this video runs long. I'm not usually used to doing things on camera. As you can tell by my jankity rig. Forgive my coil skills and everything else. I'm just a guy. So 
This is my job. I don't work for any vaping company or anything. Okay. So that side right there is the artistic wire. Just trim these leads a bit. Okay. Get rid of those little slivers. so it doesn't come out. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, 0.55. Now let's loosen the positive and throw in the G-plat. These are both 9 wraps, 26 gauge, one side stainless steel, one side G-plat Elite. And let's see if I can do this without being a total tool. Go through it, baby. Almost there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. As I said, forgive my coil skills, just a guy. Pick up all this. Oh, it's non magnetic wire, so everything flies everywhere. I forgot about that. Kind of like that about Canthal. Let's adjust these two. Hopefully, I counted my wraps right. If not, y'all can mock me freely. Mock anything about this, that's fine. Okay, so G plot and stainless steel. How are we going to mark that while we untwist? Oh, okay, well that's the dual coil side and the single coil side. I don't have them lined up right, but I don't care. This is just a test fire. Let's see if they heat up at the same rate. Okay, screw this on here. Just tidy up, make sure nothing's touching nothing inappropriately. Amen. All right, let's see what happens. This is fun. Don't forget to unlock your mod. There we go. Let's just see. Woo! What do I got there? Well, I burned one out. That was the stainless steel side. I fried that. Hmm. All right, let me pause this, wrap one more just to test. Okay, so we're back, and uh, what happened was I had a little piece of wire stuck down there between the uh, uh, deck and the post on the uh, stainless steel side, and that fried that coil. So I've rewrapped both coils, 10 wraps, um, and uh, I'm just going to fire them. Hopefully this will be in view for you guys, but uh, there we go, heating up. You can see they heat up almost at exactly the same rate. They feel about the same. They have the same resistance. Um, artistic wire, stainless steel 304, probably has an MSDS we can find. Um, so that's something we should look into. But look at that. Just straight out of the craft store. Let's see if I can get 
this is the package on camera. I don't know where it's going to be focused because I don't have a good camera. But uh, stainless steel 304 artistic wire 28 gauge. I'm sorry, 26 gauge. Can't read it. And uh, what I am noticing, I don't know if you can see this, is, is that the G plat on this side is oxidizing it a slightly different color. They fire at the same rate. They cool down at the same rate. There is a slight color difference. I don't know what that can be attributed to or if you can even pick it up on this camera. Let me turn on the lights and see if that helps. Maybe that helps. There's a slightly more reddish tint to the oxidation from dry firing the G plat. Slightly different tint to the artistic wire. But same resistance. That's spot on. They fire at the same rate. So uh, let's look into that. Anybody have any ideas? I'm sending some samples today to a few people. Um, we'll see what happens there. Talk to you later, guys.